Yeah, good evening, friends. You know, it's always a great feeling to be uh, with the UPS fraternity. And I think, uh, you know, as the previous speakers have talked, uh, I think all the credit goes to Dr. Sai. Um, and, you know, one thing about Dr. Sai, I'm relatively new to this uh, forum, but I think the difference Dr. Sai makes is his personal touch. Uh, I think as new people come into the industry, new companies come into industry, I think he makes it an effort to go meet up with them, get a personal connect. And I think that's the difference uh, he has made to the UPS community. And, uh, you know, I think we should give Dr. Sai a big round of applause for that. And today I'm also very happy that, uh, you know, Dr. Sai's soft disk team is here, but uh, somewhere his son is also here. So I think, uh, you know, it's great to see, yeah, he's <laughs> there. great to see that, uh, you know, his son is also there uh, with Dr. Sai. And uh, so I think this tradition is going to continue for a long time. Uh, you know, what I thought I would share is I think people have talked about GST, I think about the history of uh, UPS, I think Mr. Chalapan talked about it. Um, and someone was asking me, you know, that, you know, with the power situation improving in India, you know, is it going to have a negative impact on the UPS industry? And, uh, you know, my comment always is, you know, I started my career in the US and uh, the largest UPS market in the world is the US, even today. And uh, so obviously it is not linked to, you know, just power disturbances, yes, the power generation is increasing. Many states in India are getting into surplus. But we do have uh, a transmission and distribution seg segment which is not very strong. So what we have is multiple power disturbances. Uh, in the US, you know, if you were to ask what is the total power outage uh, in a year, can anyone guess how long is the power out uh, in a year in the US? Four minutes. Right, I think you're all pretty close. So you, I mean, I think three minutes, I mean, there are many, many records. Three minutes in a year, the power is out. But why is UPS, uh, you know, the world's largest UPS market, why is it the US? Because even in the US, this three minute of power outage is caused by about 25 to 30 power disturbances. So even if power generation becomes surplus in India, you know, it is not going to stop the power disturbances and as the economy grows, you are going to have more industries who are going to go into more automation, more IT and who are going to be more susceptible to power disturbances. So I don't think the UPS industry is going to go away anywhere in the near future. I mean, that is my personal view. In fact, the UPS industry should grow. I also see a lot of other avenues where the Indian power electronic industry, you know, is going to grow. Uh, to levels which we have never imagined in the past. Uh, you know, when I look at how the home UPS came into the market, it was a technology which replaced uh, kerosene gensets, right? People, you know, in residence were using kerosene generators, you know, to when there's a power outage. And then the whole home UPS segment came about uh, 25 years ago. Today, as the power situation improves and the power outages become less, meaning you don't have, you know, eight hour power cuts, maybe the power cuts start coming down to one hour. I also see that uh, the power backup industry with battery is going to start replacing the DG uh, segment in, in the country. So I do see that as power situation improves, you are going to see clients, you know, who today are using a DG set for power backup start switching to, uh, you know, a large inverter uh, solution. With, with battery backup. Uh, and I mean, there is something, you know, as Consul knew what we are doing now, even up to 600 kVA. Uh, similarly with, uh, you know, we have a lot of our battery friends here, a lot of advances are happening in battery technology. And I think that's going to be a huge revolution which is going to happen. Uh, you know, improvements in lead acid, but more importantly in other technologies uh, like lithium which is again going to change the complete phase of power electronics, not uh, just in India, but the world, where increasingly you are going to see uh, more advancements in uh, battery technology, and which is going to drive new applications, uh, you know, where you're going to have lithium, instead of just being in the mobile phones, you know, being as a power backup source for homes to all the way to the grid. 
So again, I think that's going to be a huge revolution. That coupled with solar, I mean, the dropping prices of solar, you know, we have Vikram Solar and Swelect uh, here, I mean, industry captains. I mean, solar is going to change uh, the way power is generated. Uh, I mean, we're already seeing the impact. You know, large companies like GE and Siemens, you know, are, uh, you know, having huge reduction in man manpower, you know, in their power generation segment. I mean, the only reason is renewables is coming and renewables with energy storage is going to be the future. Uh, you couple that with, uh, you know, what is happening uh, in uh, automobile sector. You know, people are talking about electric vehicles uh, replacing automotive, uh, you know, by 2030. I mean, even if 10% gets replaced, it's going to completely change, uh, you know, the market for power electronics. So, you know, when I look ahead, yes, we have been struggling, yes, we all have our challenges on price, margin, you know, when we look at UPS industry, but, uh, you know, looking ahead, uh, electric uh, and power electronics is going to be an enabler for multiple industries. It is going to replace many segments, traditional segments as we know it. So somewhere along the way, I think this group, you know, we have to take some leadership you know, in becoming an enabler. We cannot let, you know, uh, companies from outside the country, you know, take leadership in new uh, emerging segments, whether it is solar with uh, battery storage. You know, we have done systems up to 400 kilowatt with battery storage. So clients are going in for uh, solar systems with battery storage for high power. We are working on a megawatt scale uh, for grid support uh, on uh, uh, solar. Uh, if you look at what happened in China, a lot of the UPS companies migrated into solar like it is happening here. People in China migrated into electric vehicle uh, technology. So somewhere we have to take the leadership. I mean, as a community, you know, if we are going to continue to only import, I think we are going to let go of a great opportunity, an opportunity which is going to change, I mean, the way business is done. In the next 20 years, uh, I mean, we always said, uh, you know, it started as an SME industry, like Mr. Chalafan said, you know, UPS. But this is going to be, power electronics is going to be one of the largest industries globally with what is happening. So I think we are there at exciting times. I think it's going to take a lot of effort for us to take leadership, but there is definitely an opportunity. Because India is going to be one of the largest markets for all these applications. So, as an industry, I mean, if we start looking at how we can participate, you know, in the upcoming uh, opportunities, I think it's going to be a game changer for all of us. And I'm sure, I mean, this is a small group here, uh, Dr. Sai, but we are going to have a much larger community, you know, in power electronics in, in India in the next uh, decade or so. So I'm very excited, I mean, very excited to be part uh, of this community. And I think we are uh, here, uh, you know, at a very, at a point of inflection of the industry, you know, globally and in India. So again, uh, happy UPS and happy solar day. Thank you.